In this example, we want to use the disk method to find the volume of the solid form by revolving the bounded region about the y-axis. Okay, so our, our bounded region is going to be defined by y equals to x squared, which is the graph that you see here uh, in blue, y equals to 4, okay, and x is going to be greater than equal to 0, so that means we're only interested in looking to the, to the right of the y-axis, okay. Okay, so we have y equals 4 here. And then our parabola. So, so since we're using the disk method, okay, our represented piece, okay, is going to be perpendicular to the uh, to the axis of revolution. And our axis, in this case, is is the y is the uh, y axis. So that is the axis that we're going to take this region, okay, and rev and revolve around. All right, so when we take that region and revolve it around the y-axis, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so it looks like a uh, bowl. Okay. Okay, so we're using a horizontal piece here. Okay, so that means this is going to be, our integral is going to be in terms of y. Okay. So... Okay, so then, since our function, our, our integral has to be in terms of y, so that means we need to solve this. Okay, we need to solve x in terms of y. Okay. Okay, so remember this is, so going back here, remember this is a, right, this is acting as a distance. X, x is the distance from the axis of revolution to the point on the curve. Okay, so x is going to be equal to, okay, we want to get x in terms of y, so this is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of y. However, we're only dealing with the positive square root of y, okay, only this part, not the negative part, so we can just look at the positive part. So r of y is going to be equal to square root of y. So that means when, okay, when y is zero, okay, we're going to get the radius is going to be zero at that point for the disk. When y is four, okay, the radius at that point, okay, it's going to be two, okay. So it's going from zero to two. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our integral. So we're going to have pi times the integral, it's going from 0 to 4, okay. Okay, so that's the bounds, okay, so going from y equals 0 to y equals 4, and remember, at y equals 4, the radius is 2, okay. All right, for that, for that, uh, for that disk, okay, at that position. Okay, so r of y is square root of y, and we're squaring this. Okay, so we can go ahead and solve this. So we're going to have pi times, okay, the integral going from 0 to 4 of y dy. So taking the integral of y, okay, we're going to get y squared over 2. And we go ahead and evaluate this from 0 to 4. So plugging in 4, okay, we're going to square that and divide by 2. So we're going to get 16 over 2, so that's going to give us 8. So we end up getting 8 pi. And then plugging in 0 will give us 0. Okay, so we get, so our volume is 8 pi. And if this was an application problem, then this would be, uh, this would be units cubed. Okay. All right, so that is the volume, right? 8 pi is the volume that we get um, by taking this region that's defined here and revolving it around the y-axis, okay?